Hey, what's going on guys? Ben's 49 Nerp here and welcome back to another video. Um, I know I have not been recording a lot lately because uh, I've been playing, but I haven't been playing a ton. I've been doing my ports, things like that, but I haven't really been like hardcore playing. Oh, that failed, that's sad. And that one failed too, and... Oh, well. Okay, well that's a little sad, but... Um, one of one of them was only a fifty percent success rate, so I couldn't really expect that one to succeed. But ooh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. Um, yeah, let's do that. Ooh, wait, what is this? What? What? Um. Well, that is really bad. Um, I'm really confused about that, to be honest. But I know that my, like, sea witch died, I think. So maybe when she dies, she just comes back as a really terrible um, crew member. Um, I guess. All these things are so expensive. I just got to the stainless steel region. And it is not very good. I'm just going to send this away. It's only a three hour mission. Because I, I didn't really do a lot of the story missions. Um, oh, and th that's the architect anyway. I just recently unlocked the architect. That That's that's why. Because I just recently got 90 construction. But um, Let's try to get a morale only. Or seafaring only maybe. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um... Yeah, and then I'll just swap off her for this and go ahead and do that. Um, I'm not good at ports at all, guys. I'm really not. I don't know if I should buy crew members first or um, ship parts first or... There's a... Ooh. Whoa. Okay. Go ahead and send that one away. And what what's on this one? Just morale. Okay. Um, I guess we'll put him on there because he has more morale than anything else. We have 11k morale. Um, yeah, I don't really care about spices. Okay, I guess we're going to send that one away. Um, yeah, it's crazy that just the regular missions now are taking 11 and a half hours. Not a big fan of that, but but yeah, um, here's an update on my ports. Um, I have 14 ancient bones, 42 plate, um, 32 chi. I actually did a, a story mission that got me 25 chi which was awesome so that was that's pretty exciting I don't have very much lacquer but whatever um, I have quite a few koi scales I guess and I don't know I've, I haven't used any of this because I don't have the scrolls really um, I do have all the scrolls for Tetsu and I'm gonna make the Tetsu body first I could make the helm right now technically but I just, you know, I mean, I, w I want the body first, which is a hundred plate, which is so much, but whatever. Um, six, so I need 200 plate total, basically, for the entire set, which I don't think will be that hard. But, you know, it's it's quite a ways from now. I, I'll probably get it in this region, though, because maybe not, though. I might get it in the next region. Um, archipelago map. Let's see. I'm only like 3% to the next zone. The stainless steel used to be the best zone, right? Yeah, and then then they added the terracotta and azure regions. And yeah. I don't know. Well, guys. Well, guys, I'm going to go do some Dominion Tower now. I love this bank update how fast everything goes. You know, it's so nice. Um I like the quick loadouts, but I don't think they're that great, you know. I, I kind of still find myself um, withdrawing stuff. But for my two quick loadouts, I have my farming run, which is really nice. Um, They do need to update it, though. Kind of like, okay, say you have an item on your action bar. See, I have this prayer potion on my action bar, or this prayer flask. But it's actually like a prayer flask, like two or something on there, three. And if I drink it, then it'll drink the lowest one, and then when I'm out of the low ones, then it'll drink the the high ones. But it does not do that when you're withdrawing things. So I can't put my Juju Farming Potion in here, because like if I put the Farming Potion 2 in, in here, then it will it'll be like, cannot find Juju Farming Potion 2. 
Um, and I don't want to use a new one every time. I mean, I know it would be the same effect, but I don't know. I mean, I guess I could do that, to be honest. It would be the same amount of doses. I don't know. I think I will do that, actually. L let's go ahead and edit that. Um, let's withdraw a Juju Firing Potion 3. Okay. And then I want to save this. There we go. Alright, so deposit everything and let's let's just go ahead and see boom okay that's kind of cool okay well I'm gonna go tri I'm gonna go do some Dominion Tower because I really need to get um, I really want to complete the desert tasks already cuz oh and then the second one is just my dual wield melee setup but but yeah um, I've had I've like almost been done with Dominion Tower forever <coughs> I'm sorry I have a cold so I'm like coughing and stuff and I sound kind of sick probably but yeah so l l let's actually see how many bosses I have um, have killed do rewards cuz okay okay you have slain you have killed 407 bosses so I need to kill 450 and I think I have spectated a match but I'm not sure if if not I can just get a friend to do that for me um, and I don't I don't know if I've done all the special matches I'm not really even sure what the special matches are oh I, I guess I'm in the middle of climber okay that's weird but okay well I'm gonna pause it and do some Dominion Tower I hate how it like zooms out when you start a new fight and then uh, I don't know it's just annoying but Killing the balance elemental. Really easy boss. Um, it's crazy how easy Dominion Tower makes all of the quest bosses seem. Um, there, there's a couple hard ones in here. Like Nomad is a little difficult. Um, Z and I, not Zilliana, but I think her name starts with a Z. The, the boss from Love Story. Um, like um, the wise old man's um, like wife or whatever. Um, she's kind of difficult. The Pest Queen is kind of difficult. But by and large, most of these bosses are pretty. What, what? What? That was really weird. I didn't know that happened. But see, like this guy. This guy is really easy. I'm pretty sure. Let's go ahead and. Ah, nah. Eh. Let's let's. Yeah. Reduce range attack. I don't even remember what quest this guy is from. But see how it zooms out like that. Ugh. I paused it to cough and I killed him almost in the time I was coughing also the desert treasure bosses are kind of tricky because I don't have ice gloves yeah sure I'll go with that and ice gloves for some reason it does not drop them on the ground but you can't kill no no you can't kill that one guy with your main hand weapon so you literally have to just use um, um, like auto attacks and kill him but your offhand still stays equipped so it's not too bad but yeah these golems are really easy oh yeah I'm so glad they have not I think the only reason they haven't graphically updated this guy is just for like nostalgia purposes wow three hit see Zenavivia I don't even remember how to kill her I might die here because I don't know how to kill her, but um, let's go to an attacker. Is the wise old man attacking me or her? I don't even know. I feel like she was a lot harder pre-EOC or something. Or maybe it gets harder. I don't really know. Okay, well, she isn't hard anymore, but she's really annoying and takes a long time to kill. So, keep that in mind when you guys are doing Dominion Tower. Um, yeah. 
All right, here's the pest queen. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave because I don't really know how to kill the pest queen. I think it might be hard, and I want to get as much dominion factor as I can. So, going to go ahead and leave. Let's check what's in my rewards. Yes, claim rewards. Do we have a... See, no journal pages. I don't know why I'm not getting these journal pages. Oh, no. Yeah, let's take the XP book, go ahead and read it, get some prayer XP, and go on back in. Alright, I think this is gen genuinely going to be a hard fight. But, let's try to get rid of Flam Bead first. Um, why? Autocast Water Surge? Oh my. Holy Jesus. Okay, this is really difficult. Why why am I attacking the gelatinin mother? And why am I The heat from the cakes? What cakes? Okay, this is like ridiculous. I wish I knew which which of the enemies was making me unequipped my weapon. I think it's the Kalinromancer. Okay, that that was ridiculous. Well, guys, I'm gonna end it off here because this video is running pretty long. You guys got to see me fail and I guess rage a little bit, but hope you enjoyed and talk to you later. Bye.